G'day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Craft by Tim. Purchasing brass for machining can get kind of expensive, but I've got all of this scrap brass lying around at home, so why don't I try and melt it down and turn it into something that I can machine. Now for a mold, I'm going to be using what I think is like an old bearing or something, and just a thick piece of plate for the base, but they need to be clean before I can start using them so that I don't end up with all this rust through my work. I also need to make sure that I preheat these molds so that it doesn't freeze the molten brass as soon as it touches the mold. They don't need to be glowing hot, but they do need to be reasonably hot. Alright, we got our two pieces of brass back and I'm not particularly happy about the way that went. Those little green flames that were shooting off, that was burning zinc, meaning that I got this way too hot. Probably could have reversed that by adding some more brass that's, you know, cold and then that would have brought down the temperature and hopefully stopped some of the brass from burning off. But hey, you, yeah. Whether or not this is going to be like a true reading as to whether or not this worked, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to find out whether or not these are usable in their current state. It's metal. We melt it down, we use it again. So as you can see, we haven't quite made it through all of the weird oxidization on the end there, but we are looking pretty good. It is actually looking very smooth on the sides there. Uh, a lot more so than what I was originally expecting. That's pretty good. on the money. Happy with that.
Now I'm gonna just nail the ends. I haven't used one of these since high school, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but uh, from what I recall, they're pretty straightforward. That's better. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so this is our little part. As you can see, surface finish on it isn't too bad. It looks actually pretty nice on the back. On the front, however, there's a few spots where you can, uh, where you might be able to see a bit of like porosity or some sort of inclusion. You can probably see that pretty clearly. That is the head of a steel screw. Probably a couple of brass coated steel screws in with my scrap brass um, which is unfortunate but at the end of the day like they turned pretty okay you could definitely hear it when you hit one and it's probably not you know going to be the best for your tools and all the rest of it but it does still turn so the main thing to take away from that is make sure that you get all of your steel out of your brass scrap before you melt it down. Just run through it with a magnet. Probably be able to find most of it that way. Otherwise it doesn't turn too dissimilar from actual brought pieces that I buy specifically for machining. The surface finish on the other hand is a little bit hit and miss and not being able to know for sure whether or not you're going to end up with some uh, with a nice surface finish or you're going to end up a little bit of pitting porosity or maybe even cracks or anything like that especially with the fact that there was a little bit of steel and like i said you could use a magnet to remove some of that steel aside from all that not knowing whether or not you are going to end up with a really nice surface finish just means that if you need that surface finish you're probably going to reach for a bar that you've brought specifically for machining. But this little piece that I've turned up is an oil plug. Does it need to look pretty? No, absolutely not. If I needed to purchase a bar like this, I paid for like 30 bucks for something that was just slightly longer than this one. Whereas this was basically free. Anyway, I'm still getting myself set up in regards to the new lathe and everything like that, but I am still working on those other projects that I keep dropping hints about. So those videos are still coming along, otherwise I'm still trying to get my channel back up in watch hours so there may still be a couple of extra filler videos on the way. So I hope to see you then, but in the meantime do remember to stay safe, happy crafting, and as always, cheers.